Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. Today I am filming the Stamp Around UK video, well my Stamp Around UK video for the video hop for the 1st of April 2023 and our theme today is Case Another Demonstrator. Um, yeah, so I am going to be um, using an idea that's inspired me from another demonstrator. So I have just received this bundle, The Greatest Journey. And the paper that goes with it, and it is called Enjoy the Journey as well. Is that what that one's called? No, that's the greatest journey of course. So see, I've just received it at, at late to the party with this, but my word, what amazing paper. On one side it's got like just nice patterns, and the other side it's got mountainous sort of landscape. Look at these stars. It's just gorgeous. And this one I'm using here with the sort of pink and orange sort of like tropical sunrise sort of look to it um, and a sort of waves and a triangle pattern and just a I don't know what you call that sort of pattern it's like almost like fence <laughs> trees like a forest impression and then a, a, a lovely print pattern and purple and green so there's it, the colours are variegated throughout it not variegated, ombre sort of ombre effect so I I'll show you the other full sheet of what I've used where are you where are you this one this is the I've used, it's the full sheet that I'm going to use and I think I am going to use the full sheet in the card you'll see in a moment I've kind of been thinking about it just as we go I look at the background Melon Mambo, isn't that just beautiful? So bright, cheerful, and makes me think of summer evenings. So I'll leave that half just now because I that wasn't quite in my plan. So I am uh, bringing this. Oops, the lady that I am casing is Bronwyn Eastley, and she's addinctive.com quite clever add ink <laughs> so addinctive.com so you you'll find her i just saw a card that she made on pinterest but if you if you find it on pinterest or if you go to her blog you'll find her blog at addinctive.com beautiful cards never seen her work before not noticed her work before till i saw her card on pinterest and i am going to have a look she looks she does some beautiful work, some great folds, and I need to do a bit more on the fancy fold because I don't do enough of them. So thank you, Bronwyn, for the idea for this. I'm not using the same paper as she used. I'm using a different one. Whoops. But I have prepped a double, it was a double gatefold card that she did to show, and it gives you a chance to show this paper off pretty well. I've die cut some other bits but let's just take this. I have cut this so that we just put it on the card consecutively. I was going to say what I didn't do was get my... So this is 12 inches so it's cut from the 12 by 12 black card pack that you can get in the annual catalogue just now. I love the contrast of black with um, Melon Mambo. Just love it. So I've cut these in order so the card, as I say, is five and a half inches by 12 inches. And you score at two, four, eight and ten. So it just makes easy. So those were Bronwyn's measurements. I've gone with them. Usually when, usually I would try and change that into centimetres. But I just decided to stick with inches because when this is folded, it fits into any of our C6 envelopes, so we're fine. So I'm just popping this 
Oh, and as I say, I did prop prep a little bit, but then I've decided I might add more on the other side. <clears throat> but that's me. So, this one. Sorry, and my throat, my voice has gone funny. I haven't actually spoken to anyone else today, and this is the first recording I've done today, so I didn't know there was an issue with my voice. <laughs> Whoops. Well, no, that's not true. I did speak to my husband this morning. Right. I don't know. I don't know what it's about. I love this paper too. I don't know why it's taken me this long to get this sweet, but do you know what? It's fab. Now my husband runs a lot and he's going to be doing three marathons this year. And he's always training and he does hill training and that's why I get so much time to craft. <laughs> Out training. I'm happy then, he's happy. That's good. <laughs> okay, so we'll just do Bronwyn's idea too in the first and then I'll stick. Now, Bronwyn, me I've just got glue on that, but when it's dry, I'll get it off with my glue eraser. So basically, there's your basic card. Isn't that cool? So then, she, I think she had cut the, there's another figure and it's a hill climber or a hiker. I've chosen this one that looks like he's running since that fits for my husband. So I'm just going to put this, I've die cut this sort of mountain edge here with black there is a there's a, a sort of linear die to cut that with I'm just going to pop this here now that is four inches I'm not quite sure how deep it is I just spent eyesight on it when I put it on the die and as I said I'll only put glue so that it's going to come up like that and then So this could be, you know, if you've got someone in your family who's into activities or just starting activities, to adventurous things. This is perfect. What I didn't do where is like a bone folder. Why have I not got a bone folder on it? Is it's just hiding. It's quite. I should have done first was. Burnish my folds and then the card will sit better. This is the idea just to show off so much of that gorgeous paper. Now you can add all bits of pieces here if you want to. I am just going to add a sentiment. I'm going to add it about here. And I discovered this, that the decorative circle and the two inch punch are just perfect partnership. So I am, do I want the pink or black pink? I didn't plan any further than what I've done, so let's see. I just want to stamp this sentiment with memento. This might be a dry memento. Don't want to come off. There you go.
to put that on there. Now I want this to go over onto there, so I want just a bit more than half there with glue. You can use tape, but I definitely am a wet glue user. I'm just going to pop that there. Now you, in your dies, you've got trees, you've got loads of things you can cut out. I thought I might just pop a compass sticker out of the sticker pack on the front. These are enamel sticker icons, now there's quite a few of them. So you've got the fire, the compass, the two arrows and the trees, this is super. I'm just going to stick a wee compass on the front to help him find his way. And then I'm th my thought was for the back, I just put a white piece here for writing. But um, and then I thought I could use the rest of this paper. So let's just do that. Let's put all these punches and things out of the way. So the, um, the way I cut the paper was from this way. So the card base is five and a half inches. So I just pulled it back by an eighth of an inch and chopped. We'll keep that strip. We can use that for, for another card for something. And then I, I think because I would like the moon incorporated here. So each of the two, first two panels are two inches. So if I just pull it back an eighth, so it's like one and seven eighths. One. One and seven eighths. So just leave them like that. So, and then this middle panel is four, but if we pull that back, make it three and seven eighths, that should fit in the middle. And then one and seven eighths. And one and seven eighths. And then we'll take a piece of basic white. Actually, that will just, I don't know if it, we'll just go with two and a half inches. Oh, just to give us a bit to write a wee message on the back. That should be fine. So, obviously, you might wish to do that before you start, before you put extra bits on the front, but... You know me, always crafting on the fly. I, as soon as I plan something, I change my mind. That's the issue. I think I've done this the wrong way, haven't I? Oh, will that come off? What a girl I am. Or maybe it should be. Oh my goodness, Janice. I'm doing my own head in here. It's not wrong at all, is it? Oh, hey. Because it was because the moon was on this side, but I've forgotten that the paper is reversed. I'm just making this hard for myself. Eh? I might, might miss this bit off the video. <laughs> Let's just put a bit more wet glue to give it a bit of room to move. Right, come on. That's way 
don't worry about the glue because I've got a glue eraser. I'll get that off in a minute. It's best to let it dry before you try to do that though. So if you ha aren't familiar with our video hop, if you go into the description box below, and that, that's all wrong. She's just going all wrong now. I will stop the video and sort this out. Okay, I've sorted those two strips out. I did have it all the wrong way round. So sometimes, sometimes you have to stop and breathe when you get yourself enough angle. So that is what I did. So I've taken them off and put them on the right. In the right place, just so that you get the continuity of the mountain. You wouldn't use this amount of beautiful paper for just an everyday card, but this would be for a special event. Or do we just wee bits of glue there? I just take them off with this rubber. As I say, I did get myself in a bit of a fangle. This one down. Then you can see the continuity there. And we're just going to pop this little rectangle of white on the back so that we can write a message. the back of the card and there's the front of the card does not want to stay down no matter that I have burnished but when it's standing up it's just beautiful so there you have it my version of where's the pad Bronwyn Eastley's card and she is addinctive.com. Please go into the description box below and check out everyone else's. I'm not even sure how I'm going to photograph this. <laughs> Plunk it out. Um, please go, once that's in an envelope, it'll stay flat until the person brings it out and then it'll be obvious to them how it stands. So yeah, please go in the description box below and have a look at everyone else's video and see what they've come up with. See who they've um, cased. So cased is copy and share everything. So I haven't exactly copied the whole, I've not used the same paper, but the whole idea I definitely have copied and cased from Bronwyn. It's her folds, it's her measurements. And it's the same pack of paper. I just chose a different paper and a different figure. But she put a happy birthday on the front because it was for her son. I've done a different sentiment. But thank you so much, Bronwyn, for the inspiration. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And please press, press the bell icon to get notified when I'm coming on again. Please enjoy the other videos. I think you have to push the show more and then show more to get the list of um, people taking part in the hop. But I appreciate you being patient with me there. Thank you.